I just intercepted a message from the reactor's intercom network. It looks like the internal repair and containment team beat us to the mask. I can't let them find the modifications I've made, so you need to take them out. Should be a piece of cake, a few repair drones, some standard model security bots, and one officer.
Welcome to the facility of Data Mask Beta. Due to events out of our control, Data Mask Beta's core is currently deactivated. If you represent a Plank ISD maintenance team, please the use the central console to request access to the upper floors. Security alert. User is not registered maintenance personnel. Please drop your weapons, lie face down on the floor with your hands on your head, and wait for the arrival of the manual identity verification team to approve your credentials. Manual Identity Verification Team failed to report, granting emergency maintenance access. Emergency access granted. Full health restored. Filters were added to all Plank data masks in 1974 to block employee access to internet pornography. Following strikes, riots, and four deaths, the filters were removed 53 minutes later. Fiasco was just supposed to be an attitude test. I came as soon as I saw they were sending backup. I never thought they'd bring a fucking centaur. You must have really pissed them off. Let's just get out of here before before the centaur calls in even more backup. Shit. Okay, no time to lose. Get in quick. If 
If you look to the rear of the vehicle, you will notice a mounted 22mm rotary cannon. A little old-fashioned, sure, but it'll do the job. The job being dispatching the incoming aerial support that I do not want to lead to my headquarters. Thanks for leaving me for dead down there. 
Although, to be fair, every man for himself is literally the only thing written in the Iron Chubb's emergency handbook. I suppose you were just following procedure then. It's damn hard to swim without letting these slippers fall off, though. Let's swim to shore, trek back to HQ. I'll set you up in a guest room, small step out from the holding cell you've been in for the last few weeks. I want you to get you moving and out of my life as soon as possible. Tomorrow, we can talk about what comes next. See? All okay. Gentle hand sent her back down like Nanny said. Brian is already in position, but not to pick her up. We should have foreseen she would seek the surface. Yes, yes, the wasted time is a shame. We have a GCRA on to without the hypercube. A few more days does not bother me nor Aporia. However, I must be prepared to intervene if there is a risk of her being led astray once again. Can you not eh, just teleport her? It takes immense exertion for realm walkers to directly interact with your worlds. We may travel far, but we tread lightly. Cowboy does not seem to tread very lightly. Cowboy partakes in forbidden arts. His entire existence is apostasy. That is why I was hunting him through this realm in the first place. Well, he sounds cooler than you. <laughs> I do not subscribe to your realmic social hierarchies. Good morning. Brian's waiting for you. Come along now. I'm so sorry about yesterday. Uh, apparently the reactor cycle reminded Brian he wanted to test your fighting skills. The whole I need my internet back bit was all made up, obviously. The good news is you did great. You didn't die or anything. Good thing too, you're gonna have to face much worse steeper in the reactor. Here we are. Before we go in there, I want you to know, you probably shouldn't trust... Shouldn't trust what? Uh, handymen. Shouldn't trust handymen. Goddamn right. Wait, is that racist? I'm not racist, I swear. Ah, uh, get in here. Theris, go research something. Okay, boss man. Okay. I'm gonna give it to you straight. You don't belong here. There's no place for you on our Earth. Sure, you look like the humans of this universe. I could smuggle you out of the reactor, get you to a city, forge some documents, but your DNA is still going to give you away as an alien from a divergent universe. With that out of the question, you've got two other options. Option one, you live the rest of your sad little life here in the reactor. I don't recommend this. I'm here for the time being because of some legal troubles up on Earth, but it's pretty rough down here. Option two, and this is the good one, I send you back to your home universe. See, all the science until now has pointed at interuniversal travel being uncontrolled. Something that can only be caused by truly random quantum events. However, I have recently learned that there is another way. Using a black hole and jumping between dimensions at will is possible in the right circumstances. I've been working on the math while you've been healing up. With the correct firmware tweaks to the core's wavefront inhibitors, I think it'll work. I think I can get you home. 
I know this must be overwhelming for you, but believe me when I say all I want is for you to reach the reactor core safely. Just my inherent kindness of heart, I suppose. Brian, we've got a situation. Not a great time, Theris. But, uh, what kind of situation? Grab the live feed of camera B84. Okay, uh, B84. Ah, that is a situation. Perhaps our escapades yesterday caught a bit more attention than I thought. That's a plank security battalion, and if I'm not mistaken, it's one led by... Officer 13. Brian, good to see you. How's my favorite human? Cut the crap, 13. How did you find me here? Oh, Brian, you're still within Quantum Reactor 7. It's our job to know everything that happens within Quantum Reactor 7. Also... That was Theris' idea. That was not my idea. Theris, get off the line. <sighs> yes, sir. So, Brian, who's your little friend? A new science experiment? Is Brian holding you against your will? Blink twice if... No, 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 no. It's not like that. I'm trying to help her. I'm doing her a favor. Mm. Well, that's certainly out of character. Maybe I've had a change of heart, 13. Tell that to the dozens of security troops you and your friend killed yesterday. Ah, well, you see, it was us or them. We were just defending ourselves. You were trespassing on Plank property. Listen, Brian, we've been putting up with your bullshit for years, but you're a criminal and a fugitive, and I just can't ignore an assault of yesterday's magnitude. You are officially a threat to the security of the reactor, and I will be treating you as one from here on out. Oh. This is embarrassing. I know. I almost feel bad. Let's make this quick. Containment squad, bring the life forms to the transport. Ha! Save! There it is. You're just in time. Well, you succeeded. Now we got no time to waste. Let's get you on your way. Theris can fend off security for a few minutes. Follow me. I have a secret tunnel leading to the recycling center that will take us around our friends outside. me out last time on the condition that I work for them. I don't think they'd be so generous this time. Don't worry. My security will be able to hold them off for a bit. Don't try to help. Keep moving. We need to get you out of here. Lead straight to the middle of the recycling center. From there, you can continue down using the transit system and eventually reach the core. I'll try to help guide you remotely, but... But I've obviously got some troubles of my own. You can't rely on me to save you at the last moment. A quantum reactor is one of the most actively hostile places on Earth. So be prepared. For anything. Goodbye.
restored. Guess what? I'm not dead yet. Had to flee HQ for the time being, but that's okay. In a few days, security will have forgotten all about this unfortunate conflict. Mostly because I am deploying a virus into the mainframe that will wipe the records of the last 48 hours. I can see you've made it to the recycling center, okay? You'll want to make your way to the transit system. That's the fastest way to reach the core. There'll be some signage around, but honestly, just keep moving down. Sound good? Good.
restored. <laughs>